Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and anyone in between, welcome back to Rapture. So Bioshock Infinite came out March 25th, and Burial at Sea Episode 1 came out November 12th. That's more than 7 months later, really? I know people who bought a season pass when this game came out, and since then, have already traded in this game. While I can understand that people can feel ripped off when new content comes out the day a game is released, at a certain point, a wait can become too long. Give us two months, give us three months, but not half a year for a decent new DLC. What do they even look like under those suits? What do you mean? They're just some kind of machine? This continuation story is short. I mean, really short. I mean, not worth the $15 price tag if you're gonna buy the two-part series one at a time. I was able to finish this first game within three hours and I spent my time exploring everything. Something new to Burial at Sea that I don't recall in any other Bioshock games is respawning enemies. When you kill everyone in one area of rooms, then look around, get ready to fight another wave of enemies as soon as you're ready to leave that area. Which wouldn't be that much of an issue if this game wasn't so stingy with ammo. Surprisingly, there are areas of this game that have you using a skyhook, which was one of my favorite additions to Infinite. There aren't a lot of opportunities to use it, but it's nice to see the integration, in my opinion. I noticed that there were a few technical glitches, things like Elizabeth's skirt would randomly become sucked into her body. Overall, Burial at Sea is for the most part a good looking game. I really enjoyed that there were more components to secret areas rather than just lot picking. Things like freezing new pathways and finding audio logs that have combinations for locked doors was rather refreshing this spin around. It's cool that they rebuilt Rapture from the ground up and allowed us to see this interesting world but with such a short amount of gameplay, a weak story, and an unbelievably lackluster ending, Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea Episode 1 DLC gets a 5 out of 10. Red means stop, green means go. This is the rule all little girls know. 